Eagle 7 here, wanted to make another quick video for the co-pilot gunner seat using the TDAC and the TADS. Uh, this time we're going to do it at night, but a viewer made a comment about a little bit of drift that I had on the crosshairs on my first video, and he mentioned the linear motion compensator, or LMC, should prevent that if you're having that drift. Uh, also, another YouTuber had a great idea about using the joystick to move the uh, sight manual tracker SMT around which is moving your crosshairs on the TDAC. Let me show you those keybinds real quick. So we want to go to AH64DCPG left hand grip and you can see I just bound the linear motion compensator to a push button on my joystick so if I need that I just push it and to bind the sight manual tracker or be able to move your crosshairs around using your joystick you're going to want to go to access commands right hand grip man track control x-axis which is your left and right and then the RHG man track controller y-axis which is up and down now in my case I had to invert the up and down you may have to do that depends on your system so those are the key binds so let's get started so we're going to use George AI helper for the entire flight. We're going to let him fly it. So let's bring him up. We're in hover, hover bob up mode. So let's go ahead and up short. And we'll go up to 200 feet for starters. Copy. Increasing altitude. While he's doing that, we can go ahead and make our aircraft hot. Armament on. Waz to the right. Missiles. We have an active missile indicated by this blinking white missile on our left pylon. Let's go ahead and open our trigger cover. I have that bound to my joystick. And it looks like... 200 feet so he has us in a 200 foot out of ground effect hover so let's go back over to the George AI helper and left click over to flight and press and hold left come to a heading left pedal turn of 188 degrees short we'll put us Cop. at 40 Speed knots up. forward flight and we had a report of some BTRs just outside of the wire so we're gonna head out this way and see if we can engage them with some hellfires so if I zoom in on the TDAC you'll see our our crosshairs here and if I push the linear compensator button on my joystick. You'll see on the end you get these little hash marks that let you know that the LMC is active. Push button again and they go away. Alright, we should be getting pretty close. So let's go ahead and have him enter a hover. And get the aircraft stable. And now we can use the joystick from the co-pilot gunner seat, the way we have it mapped. That's right, left, down, up. And I can make pretty fine adjustments. Or if I go full deflection of the stick, I can move it around pretty, pretty quick. As you can see. So 
let's see if we can find these BTRs. They should be hiding out here somewhere. They might be out here on this roadway. Take a look here. Let's zoom in. And they sure are. Looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five of them. All right. I'm clear to engage. So using the FLIR, as indicated here on the upper left, doesn't seem like we have much drift. So in this particular case, I'm not going to use the LMC. I'm going to go ahead and first detent. And we can see here at the bottom that BTR is 2,180 feet. Go ahead and engage that one. First detent, second detent. Fire. Rifle. And shack. Looks like they're on the move. Rifle. And shack. Where are other guy go? Here he is. Blazing. Second D10. Rifle. Shack. And there should be one more. He is. Oh, two more. And lazy. Rifle. Check. And last guy. Lazy. Rifle. And check. Disengaging. And that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, those two things, the linear motion compensator and binding your uh, push button here, manual tracker button on the right hand grip to the joystick, really works very well as you can see. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave the comments.